so it's Thursday December 2nd 2021 I'm on my walk well I'm still in the community of St. John's Heights as you can see there's a sign up there it is early in the morning I think it is about uh, 15 or 16 minutes after 6 and it's the a.m. few persons are seen uh, already on their way to work or to wherever they are going but I move all right this is Jamaica moves all right so we have a nice truck making its way to Kingston Jamaica some vehicles on way to Kingston Jamaica or Spanish Town or St. John's Road or any community nearby right so there's a taxi man all right so there's someone standing at the bus stop I don't necessarily want to get them in the frame but I want you to appreciate that at some minutes after 6 this is what the traffic is looking like in St. Catherine, Jamaica Welcome to St. John's Heights Alright, so there is very little traffic now but persons can be seen going about their normal business on way to work, on way to school on way to Jamaica moves yes all right so on that note I am not necessarily a religious person but I would have heard somewhere that it is good when you pray for your leaders this morning I have said a prayer for the current Prime Minister of Jamaica the most honorable Andrew Michael Holness I don't know how many Christian Bible believing or Rastafarian Bible believing people are in this community but they say we're two or more gathered touching anything concerning the creator he is in the midst to answer so that simply means that the prayer that I prayed this morning Thursday December 2nd 2021 on the behalf of Andrew Michael Holness okay so I was informed that prayer works by people in this community Hi, good morning. Yes, yes. I was informed by people who reside in this community that there is some amount of power in prayer. Well, that isn't what the person told me directly. That isn't a direct quote, but it, it was a suggestion made in a time of severe adversity. The time I'm speaking of was the day that I was attacked by a taxi man who operates on the Kitsentown route in St. Catherine, Jamaica. The person who gave me that advice, alright, so it sounds as if the bus is coming. I think the JUTC bus is here. Yes, it is. Alright, so I reside in the St. John's Heights community. I'm currently along the Enriquez Boulevard. I'm currently along Enriquez Boulevard. Alright, so there are some persons coming that they may not want to be um, photographed in this. So I'm going to pause this video for a few seconds. Alright, so we're back along the route. As I said, this is Enriquez Boulevard. This road is, what, what is this road? The sign is down. It's Vista Crescent. 
Right, Mr. Crescent. So we're along Enrique's Boulevard in the vicinity of Vista Crescent. It's a cool morning. Somewhat overcast conditions. You can see the lush greenery. And from you can observe the leaves are gently swaying in the wind. It's a cool morning. It's a beautiful morning in St. Catherine, Jamaica. All right, so uh, this part of the routine is a warm-up. I don't normally record these warm-ups. But I chose to do so this morning. That's the ball field. That's where we're coming from. That road takes you to the Kitson Town main road. Still along Enriquez Boulevard. camera is getting a little bouncy moving a bit faster as it seems I'm a little warmer okay all right so we have a taxi that is servicing the um, community apparently he's here for any passengers that the bus didn't pick up well the reality is I think that bus is an express bus that takes you um, to the new Kingston Alpha Tree area so uh, persons may opt to travel from the community to Spanish Town in a taxi. All right, so we see someone coming out of Whitnam Road, Whitnam Avenue. And she missed, she, she was a person seen running down the bus recently. She was a little late and she is again late this morning. Someone needs to set an alarm. Someone needs an alarm or to set a timer or a planner or to have some plan of action. I don't know if it's a case where she's going to her bed too late. I don't know if it's a case where she is doing online classes and her classes are constantly interrupted by poor internet service because in this community in which I reside though although there are a number of flow technicians seen constantly we suffer well I don't know about the rest of persons in the community I suffer from poor internet connectivity all right so we're passing Wade Clothes. This is Wade Clothes. Another, uh, well, another road in the St. John's Heights community. Alright, so in fact, I am seeing where it, apparently some remedial work has been done because I saw some of these cables hanging very low recently. And now they are, wow, they are still hanging very low. They are still hanging precariously low. And there is a flow technician that is constantly in the community. All right, so I'm almost gone full circle. And I'm not a turkle.
more houses, some incomplete structures. Oh, garbage waiting to be collected. Well, we don't suffer from infrequent garbage collection in this community, I must admit. As you can see, apart from some bushes and some uh, unoccupied, or should I say unclaimed, because there are a number of these lands that have been claimed, a number of these houses that have been claimed by people who may not necessarily have a right to tenancy. All right, Mullins close. Beautiful signs of a beautiful sunrise, beautiful day ahead. The birds are out. I don't know if they are chicken hawks or the cherries or what they are. Just now I love birds. But well, the birds are out. I am doing right. And you have just partake you have just taken part in a portion of my walk in the community. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2021.